Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I've done some more work on my Hexnut launcher. Let me show you the features of the new device. The biggest change is that I am now force feeding the ammo down the uh, magazine tube. And this means that the fire rate can go up very much and also the reliability of the weapon goes up. Simply is done by a little bit of a tube that is uh, pulled down by rubber. I also increased the amount of rubber. Basically I doubled it, as always. This forced me to remove the uh, wood screw that I used to uh, draw back the uh, lever and replace it with a solid uh, bolt. All right, let's do a few test shots. <laughs> it works! Let's see if we can produce some shards. This thing, reliability, check. Speed, check. Appearance, <laughs> power. Mm. <laughs> I think it needs a longer lever so that there is more speed in the swing. But this is very promising, specifically since it's giving the uh, projectiles a spin. So everything that has a flat surface let's say a hockey puck or maybe even a saw blade, can be launched with a construction like this. It just needs to be bigger. Very promising concept. I'll keep working on it. Another thing that I love to continue is my uh, pressured air arrow or bolt shooters. And um, I wasn't happy with the power of the previous models. Of course not. Uh, and also I wasn't quite happy with these uh, bike vents because the problem is that they are not really uh, comfortable to fill and also they probably won't hold much more pressure. So I just used some regular check valves. So this is a check valve from a plumbing and also I attached a coupling for pressured air compressors and this gives me a great advantage. Because I can now use a pump for pressured air weapons like this one from FX Air Guns, also from Gehman. Uh, and um, I also attached one of these couplings to that pump and therefore when I want to pump it up I can very very quickly install it like this and when it's full I simply remove it again and then I can con I can start shooting. And I also attached one of these uh, couplings to the original FX air gun vents so this means that within just a fraction of a second I can switch between filling my homemade air rifles to the professional uh, verminator model. All right, this test weapon with a normal uh, ball valve has now been pumped up to 2,000 psi. It's amazing, could never do that with the Schrader valve. And now, let's shoot. 60 gram arrow, 2,000 psi. Wow! <laughs> wow! Let's check the penetration. It went in that far. This means actu actually through the entire mat. Let's try to crony it. That's an amazing 81.56 meters per second with the 60 gram arrow. All right, one more test shot. <laughs> that is strong enough. Now this has serious potential because this is just a ball valve which is really low in performance because you can't really even open it quick enough all the way when you shoot and uh, the solenoids will do a lot better. So I will attach such uh, valves and such couplings also to my twin shooter and then we're talking. I'm hoping to exceed 300 joule of energy. That would be smashing. Kleiner Hinweis für meine deutschen Zuschauer. 
ich bin äh, nächsten Freitag auf den Video Days. Also wenn ihr mich treffen wollt, ich werde da mal einen Rundgang machen. Freue mich drauf. As I said, serious potential. And all made from plumbing parts. That's the best. <laughs> Gotta love it. Anyway, I hope you like this, because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye.